three, two, one, go! For real this time, a couple of uh, trail runs there just to make sure his voice still worked. It does, and we're ready to roll for qualification match number 45. Red Alliance pulling ahead for a little bit of a lead here. Two pieces of cargo installed during the sandstorm period. And we're working on one more hatch panel to seal up one of those pieces of cargo. There it is. So that was actually a preloaded piece of cargo sealed up with a hatch panel. That brings the Red Alliance up to a score of 28 to the Blue Alliance's 22 here shortly after the sandstorm clears out of the way. Blue Alliance defender, something's brewing. They're your number five ranked team so far here. They're over here trying to play some defense on your number two ranked team, CPR, out of the great state of Washington, pushing them all the way back into the habitat zone. CPR is gonna have to do some evasive maneuvers to make their way to do the center cargo ship. They're able to make it to the cargo ship, but now they're pinned up pretty hard against the wall by something's brewing. We'll see if they're able to break free. They do drop off one three-point piece of cargo. While pinned up against that wall, that will bring the Red Alliance up to a lead, 36 to 31 so far here. Over on the Blue Alliance side of the field, no offensive slouching either. Five pieces of cargo installed on these horizontal faces of the center cargo ship, and one there on the tail end. Total of six of eight bays populated so far. In comes yet another piece of cargo, but they're going to get pushed out of the way. Can't actually tell you who that is. It looks like Jaguar Robotics over there. Yep, indeed. Pushing and shoving their way around, trying to slow these Blue Alliance cycles down even further. Cost the Blue Alliance as many points as they can. Here with just 42 seconds left to play in the match. Still anybody's game, four point swing. Several high ranking teams over on the Blue Alliance side as well. You've got your number four, five, and eight ranked teams over there. Plenty of scoring potential here. They are still down by two points on the live scoreboard for now. One good habitat climb could change that in an instant. 744 for Blues, already over there, ready to make it happen. Shark attack. Prowl in the waters, can they make it to level three of the half? Yes, they can. As long as they stay there the rest of the match, that'll be good. They'll be the first ones up on the half platform. This Red Alliance wants to answer it. CPR is going up, two seconds left, they fall right back down to level one. So we'll have a total of 12 Habitat Climb points over there on the red side. Blue Alliance pulling off two level ones there at the victory in the end. 62 to 58, three rank points. Going into the averages of each of those Blue Alliance teams, and that will boost each of those teams. Shark Attack moves up from fourth to second. Something's brewing from fifth to fourth. And Texas 